Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, today's webinar will be, will be discussing the CPA and Clarivate merger um, that took place earlier this year. Uh, and we'll be discussing how it affects the IP industry as well. Um, this webinar was brought to you by Pekama um, and organized by Cosmonauts. Uh, just to give you a quick introduction, uh, my name is Victoria. I'm the product lead uh, at Pekama. Yes, hi everyone. My name is Melanie Carmesino. I'm the director of IP operations at Microsoft. I've been in the intellectual property space for about 30 years, starting off as a legal secretary and moving all the way up the gamut over my life. Um, I've had the experience of working with both CPA Global and Clarivate, formerly with Thompson, through my whole career. And so I'm looking forward to uh, sharing my experiences and thoughts there as well. I work as an IP coach and an IP strategist. I've worked as a practitioner in the IP business for about uh, for about two decades now. And I'm really looking forward to this interchange today. I'm looking forward to hearing uh, Melanie's presentation. And I hope that we can get some good questions from the people who are coming on the line as well. I thought I'd just go through a, a general overview of how Microsoft currently uses um, CPA and Clarivate, and now both um, in our IP group. Um, so I started with Microsoft in November of 2013, and one of and we had already been working with CPA Global, and we were working with uh, formerly Thomson Reuters uh, using MDC. Um, we were with a different system uh, called Anaqua, and so we were you know working across multiple vendors. One of the first things that uh, and most expansive things we've done with CPA is to migrate um, what on the left you see was our former ecosystem of um, Anaqua and seven disparate SharePoint sites and, and all of that being hosted on premise and moving all of that to the cloud uh, using Memotech. So now we use Memotech as an end-to-end -end cloud hosted solution for all of our IP work, um, patents, trademarks, copyrights, uh, trade secret repository, licensing agreements, IP reviews. And so that is a major backbone of our overall relationship. Uh, in addition, uh, we have an extensive offshore services team that has grown over time. Uh, when I first started, we were again spread across three different vendors, Wipro, Black Hills IP, CPA, and CPA was primarily doing um, uh, I would call it proofreading and some records management. And we've really consolidated and expanded that to where we now have over 100 people in India that manage all of these services. So everything from uh, once the idea is submitted and creating those records all the way through docketing, paying inventor awards and managing inventor queries, uh, they manage all of our IDS work. They also prepare all of our PCT applications for our attorney signature and they file those. Uh, we have acquisition support. Um, all of our annuity management, again, is now with CPA. Um, they also have an expansive team in Europe that does title review. And uh, about four years ago, five years ago, uh, we decided to reassign all of our patents, our utility patents from Microsoft Corporation to Microsoft Technology Licensing. And so that is a 90,000 asset uh, worldwide assignment project that has gone very well. They do help us manage large projects um, of various natures. And we also have engineering services that we use uh, for our prior art searching, patent analysis, uh, putting what we call metrics, target metrics and core metrics around likelihood of use, ease of detection, things like that to help us in our analysis work. Um, they also help coordinate the Memotech workflow design between our in-house team and, and their group. And um, what's also very beneficial is by using their system and their docketing teams, when we go through system upgrades, um, they're there to help us with the user acceptance training, documentation, and things like that. Um, and how we use their technology, uh, I'll talk a little bit about anography as well as Derwent, but we are extensive users of, of CPA Global's anography tool. Um, we do a lot of our competitor analysis searching. Um, you know, again, you can, you can read this directly, but this is used across our licensing teams, engineering teams, um, and our attorney teams, as well as paralegals to do, um, uh, like I said, competitor analysis and portfolio analysis, taxonomy searches and things of that nature. 
In addition, we have also been users of Derwent for many years um, and not used to the same scale that uh, we use Inography, but, you know, Derwent has certain features that Inography does not. And so we really, um, you know, have been, like I said, we've been working with both organizations since I've been there for seven years and I think for a good half a dozen years prior to that. So I really just sort of wanted to frame the Microsoft relationship and our familiarity with both of those vendors. I don't know if anyone has any questions on that. Um, another area where we partner with CPA Global, as well as um, an organization called Duff and Phelps, is uh, after undergoing that extensive ecosystem replacement, you learn many, many lessons um, and best practices. And so we have partnered with CPA as our sponsor in CLOC, Corporate Legal Operations Consortium, uh, which is, I think, pretty well known now. It's it's less than a decade old. And I am the chair of the IP Proficiencies Committee for CLOC. Um, and so you'll see CLOC has these 12 core competencies and we rest in the practice operations um, category. And really the goal of that has been to identify uh, best practices or in the areas of people, process, technology, policies, third party support, enforcement monetization. We have extensive matrices built out for patents, trademarks, copyrights, and litigation, and we are near completion on our trade secrets. Um, and so all of this information, if you go to CLOCK, and, and I would strongly recommend someone in your organization be a member. They have incredible information across all 12 of the of the competencies. Um, but there's a matrix of sort of how, where you, how you can evaluate yourself and your operational maturity um, and how you can evolve in, in various areas. And then there's also activities that, and, you know, um, actual steps that you can take to get yourself from foundational to mature to advanced. Um, and so, again, this is just meant to be a broad overview of Microsoft's relationship with CPA Global and Clarivate in the IP space. Yes, I've used Inography and Der Derwent at various times as well in the past. And I was interested to see, first of all, it was a big headline uh, merger in the industry. And if you go back to the press releases around the time that it happened, uh, when you ask about the pros and cons, uh, the press release was very heavy on what the pros are for the two companies and also what they think the benefits could be to customers. I agree with Melanie about the uh, availability of the different tools and people have favorite tools within the different portfolios, but it isn't as if they're going to lose one or the other, that they're going to continue um, for the foreseeable future supporting the uh, important functionalities. And as Melanie said, they're uh, some of the top uh, brands in the world in the support for IP. The, some of the benefits the company mentioned as well, they talked about uh, things such as uh, cost savings and tax savings. And if they have uh, operations bits in the USA and in Europe, you can see that there could be some uh, ability to be able to take some tax benefit from this that wouldn't be of disadvantage to the customers in general. Uh, you could say that in the areas that there's overlap that both sides have now eliminated one big customer um, are one big competitor. So it may have reduced some of the competition in the area and that some people will be a little bit nervous as to what that could do for them as well. Uh, do you see a difference in benefits for corporate customers versus intermediaries such as law firms or trademark agents? I can or, say I, yeah, I can say I don't. I mean, we, we have, we work with a lot of different law firms in the IP group and some, many of whom uh, use CPA services, especially renewals, um, which, you know, uh, CPA had already acquired MDC two years ago. And so I think that's, I don't think you're going to see further impact there. Um, and do you think that there will be consolidation in the IP industry as well, Raymond? Well, if you look at where both um, CPA and Clarivate came from, that over the last few years, there has been a lot of changes of ownership in those companies and the value has been escalating. And it could be some of the values escalating through roll-ups and getting higher multiples on the businesses. Now that they have reached this size, I think that for CPA Clarivate, that they can't take advantage from that. So the synergies that they can get um, there's limitations on the synergies they can get. And as I say, there's other players who are snapping at their heels and uh, for the very small companies, um, 
And for the medium-sized companies, there are possibility for other roll-up acquisitions that could happen uh, outside the CPA Claravit. Um, and do you think it will change the scale of the, of pattern renewals? And if you think so, why? No, I, like I said earlier, I don't think so at all. This yeah. this acquisition of MDC happened in 2018, um, so it's already been there. Uh, I don't really see any impact beyond what's happened. Um, you know, law firms don't want to deal with this typically, and in-house companies don't want to deal with it. And so, you know, I think if anything, as they grow their customer base, they will grow grow that base as well. But I don't see a, a significant impact beyond already what's happened. Uh, does the merger present any opportunities to smaller competitors? If so, what are they? I think you kind of covered it. But if you want to, if there's anything else you wanted to add to to that, Raymond, yeah, you take that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good question, and you know, as you know, the IP industry has continued evolving. Um, both Melanie and I have seen lots of changes in models over the years, and nothing has ever um, consolidated on a single model. So you do have splintering off and new ideas coming and things bubbling up and things going away again. So I think there will be continuing to be opportunities to smaller companies. Um, smaller companies can take bets on things and uh, take their chances on it. And you know they're not going to be cannibalizing their own products. So they may see that there are uh, potential clients who are not well served by Clarivate and CPA. But as Melanie says, Clarivate and CPA are some really fine products. So um, they'll have the work cut out for them. Um, thank you very much for joining today. Um, as I said, uh, it's been recorded, so we will send out the recordings to everyone as well. Um, and thank you, Raymond, as well, and Melanie for, for joining us today. Um, and we'll conclude today's webinar. Okay. So thank, thank you, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.